Presented by DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Download the DraftKings app. Use the code Bobby Sports to get in on the action. Eddie, blow that whistle. Here we go. What glove do you have on today? It's still the Wildcats, Kansas State. Is that where you are now? That's where I'm at because it's mine. I was the first one to wear. I do have a Western Kentucky one that I haven't worn yet. I have a couple Western Kentucky ones mm-hmm. that I had Austin Reed sign. Yeah. Watch. I watched their game against Liberty a couple nights ago, and they lost. But their offense just throws. Their offense can score. Defense was struggling to stop Liberty, especially late. Like they got it within like ten. They threw it like a bomb touchdown immediately, and then they, Liberty scored again. It's like God dang. Yeah, they couldn't stop them. Yeah, so uh, I'm a big Western Kentucky guy. Did you like those helmets? Yeah, the ones where they changed the mascot for every position group. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Pretty cool. Pretty yeah. cool. They had different logo or different things on the helmets. Right. Did you see him, Eddie? No, I didn't see that. So you know the red guy. Kind of yeah. like Grimace. Yeah, yeah, the blob. What is he? He's a hilltopper. Yeah, but he kind of, yeah. But if you don't know, he kind of looks like Grimace, but red. <laughs> yeah, for yeah. Sure. Grimace from McDonald's? Yeah. <laughs> for sure. His name Big Red. Yeah. But he looks like Grimace, so if you don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, they had, he's a hill, right? If that's what he is. I think he's a hill. Mind blown. What? That's kind of what I always thought, because he's kind of shaped like a big cone. You think the mascot is a hill? Yeah, I mean, they're, <laughs> they're the hilltoppers, so I think he's the top of the hill. I just thought he was like a monster or something. Mike, will you tell us what Big Red is? It doesn't have an animal name or anything. <laughs> it just says he's huge, furry, and lovable. He ain't a hill if he's furry. Okay. No. <laughs> and lovable. Maybe not. Nobody Maybe likes to get a if that big was, hill. If he was green and that was grass, then he could be a hill. Yeah, I don't think hills are lovable. Huh. All right. All right. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's up for per, uh, interpretation. You know what I mean? What are some legendary hills? One tree. Oh, Ooh. One Tree Hill. Oh. One Tree Hill. Blueberry Hill. I found my thrill on Blueberry Hill. Hill Street Blues. Yes. Hill Jack Street. and Jill went up the hill mm-hmm. oh. to do what, Kevin? <laughs> May I don't remember. What did Jack and Jill go do, uh, Kevin? Jack and Jill went up the hill to, to fetch a pail of water. Yeah. 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 Ooh, it's been a got long time. There. I'm a big fan of Hillary Scott from Lady A. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hillary. Beverly Hill, Billy. Beverly Hill, Billy. Oh, yeah. That's right. Uh, um, okay. Grant Hill. Uh, that's yes. a good one, yeah. Duke player. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Thank you. We're done with that. Okay. All right. <laughs> now keep let's going. go to the tittle tattle. It's time for the stupidest name ever. It's the tittle tattle with kickoff. Do you think the Michigan scandal will lead to college football putting mics in the helmet of the signal callers like the NFL? Probably. There's no reason that they shouldn't. Especially if the whole thing is college is getting you ready for the NFL. Like, why Why would you not? I mean, high school has technology they use at times. Not not all speakers. And, but college has the least technology that they use. Uh, sure. And I don't care either way. But it is dumb that college has to put up all the signs and the picture of Lee Corso's face and yeah. the bear's butt next to him. Will Ferrell. And then, yeah, then uh, you know, a cowboy's. <laughs> it's just all. And it also clutters up the sideline, too. Yeah, yeah. So, sure. I don't have a problem with it. The Michigan thing's hilarious to me because some people are like, sign stealing, that's normal. Bro, it's a literal rule in the rule book of the NCAA that you can't go and scout games before games, record sidelines to scout games, and it's not that you can't look and memorize because anybody can go to a game. Anybody can record the sideline. Yep. But – There is a responsibility you have as a coach to follow the rules of not every school can have 74 extra assistants to pay, so you can't get boots on the ground everywhere looking up play. So it is a a scandal. It's a real thing. Mm -hmm. It's stupid. It's hilarious. And what's stupid is it got caught. Because I'm sure there are more than one team, more than one person doing this. What's stupid is he bought tickets in his own name. (laughs) That was pretty dumb. (laughs) What's stupid is he bought tickets in his own name on two different sides of the stadium. (laughs) Whenever Ohio State and Penn State were playing. Now, could you get your buddy to do that? Absolutely. Just don't get caught. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, just get a buddy to do, do who's not affiliated with the program. Just don't get caught. But the thing is, too, they have surveillance footage now of the guy supposedly recording yeah. with a camera from his seat. Just don't get caught. They're not. No one's ever going to know unless, well, you get caught. 
And so it's hilarious. Poor Michigan. I did see he bought some and transferred them for one of the games, too. Tickets? Yeah. I don't know if he has somebody else doing that for him or uh, what? I, that's, I don't know. Or maybe friend. he couldn't go, so he had to like do a ch- ticket exchange. I want to say it was like a Tennessee game. He saw him on year. StubHub or what? <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah, I can't go. Might as well make some them. money. <laughs> yes. That's crazy. You know what, though? This is also a lesson for schools to change your signs up. Like, even, even like, you know, baseball signs, like the, the, the scraping your chest doesn't mean the same thing for every team. You got to change it up because it's how many signs do you have? Sure. A lot of times. Well, she said sometimes they say they do all the signs up, the head, the Kermit the Frog, whatever. Yeah. Sometimes those aren't even active. Correct. I've heard that too. Yeah, so that's, all that's happening to draw attention away from the real signal caller. Like the baseball. Touching the nose may mean nothing, right. but the only one that really means something is rubbing the nipple. Well, there will be an indicator too. Nice. And right. sometimes unless something's up, the in- indicator of baseball would be I can do all I want. Even if touching the nipple's a thing, until I hit my nose. Yeah. It doesn't start. That's the yeah, indicator. The yeah, first yeah. time you go to the nose. And then if I go to the nipple, it means this. So who even knows what well, the indicator is? Right. Mm. But yeah, I, we should just put speakers and helmets. Yeah. About that, though, are you able to talk to the player like during the game, or does the speaker shut off like while the snap goes, like when you get the ball? Can you say, like, hey, they're coming behind you, behind you, behind you? That's hilarious. I've never even thought about that, giving them live gameplay. Yeah, I'm a quarterback. But I think you probably wouldn't be able to hear it. I think they yeah. shut it off in the NFL with – 15 seconds left, I want to say. In the play, on the play clock? Yeah. Why would they shut it off? Leave it on. Yeah. Eddie, that's awesome. Yeah, so, they behind you, behind you, yeah. <laughs> so they can't do it. So they can't coach you through it. I didn't know they shut it off. Yeah, I want to say with 15 seconds that's left awesome. or something. Sometimes you see a quarterback react like, the, he must have been told because I didn't know anyone was behind him. I've right. seen Mahomes just do the duck perfectly timed. Bro, that's awesome. Somebody's in the... Just the duck guy? <laughs> yeah. The duck coach is up there? <laughs> duck! The one thing he has is a duck. If you hear a duck, duck! <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know they shut the microphone off. Or the, yeah. I, I just figured if you were in the middle of a play and the crowd was cheering, you couldn't hear anything anyway if you're running. Yeah, Kevin's right. 15 <laughs> seconds. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Good job, dude. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Put them, in the, put them in college. Okay. No, it's no big deal. We're not losing any part of the game. All right, go ahead. Which double-digit road underdog do you think has a better chance to cover on Saturday? Colorado at UCLA or BYU at Texas? I like them both. To cover? Mm-hmm. I do like them both to cover. If I'm going to pick one, I'm probably going to pick uh probably BYU yeah I like that me too Texas doesn't have their starting quarterback are they at Cooper yet who's no. their backup no not yet Mm-mm. uh Malik Murphy who's good who's played but I'm gonna go BYU plus 17 and a half uh they both could do it though like I don't feel terrible about either one of those, but I'm not betting this weekend. So oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that's the right. it doesn't matter right. I'm done this weekend I'm taking <laughs> smart man I'm reflecting Reed, you weren't here for the last one, or were you? Yeah, well, yeah, from this last weekend. Were you just sick we, yesterday? We to, yeah, just yesterday. But did you hear the show? Yeah. When I lost, how much I'm, I'm behind? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, you were part of it. Yeah. Okay, got it. He had his winnings, remember? Yeah, so stupid. All right, what else? <laughs> <laughs> Four and two on the season. <laughs> Do you think the Deshaun Watson injuries will be the reason the Browns don't make a real push in the AFC? I think they could keep Deshaun out, and they can make a push. I think at times their backup quarterback play has been better than Deshaun Watson's play. B.J. Walker's not bad. Their defense, well, he doesn't try to do too much. Mm-hmm, so it's yeah. not even that he does a lot. Yeah. But he doesn't try to do too much. And their defense is so good that you don't have to do too much. Yeah. Like, they're, they're not having to call on the quarterback to make plays to win games. They're kind of just saying, hey, yo, Dilferous, Dilferous, Dilferous. Stick your Dilfer in us. Well, I was, uh, what did you say? Dilfer us. Like, Trent Dilfer, just, just be a really good game Got manager. Dilfer mm. us. Got it. Got it. Yeah, pervs. Um, <laughs> Dilf. Uh. The Browns making the playoffs is weird to think about. Yeah. Because they've been so bad. I mean, Baker won a game. I'm a big Baker guy. <laughs> Baker Mayfield guy. Established. Yeah, Baker Baker won a playoff game for him. But oh, yeah. That was the promising year. That's tough. So we, we think the Bengals are going to go. Steelers. I mean, at times they look pretty good, but at times they look terrible. Yeah. Who else in that division? The Browns. Ravens, of course. And the Ra- oh, man, the Ravens oh, look like man. they win the Super yeah. Bowl sometimes. Oh, dude. Yeah. I mean, three teams out of that division could possibly go. Yeah, and I think the Bengals have the worst record. And I'm only counting on that as the Bengals being a future because I expect them to start winning more because Burrow will probably back healthy. They'll probably be good again. Uh, but, yeah, the, the Browns have a really good defense. All right, what else? Last one. As the trade deadline approaches, would you like to see Eddie and Mike's Cowboys make a trade 
for Derrick Henry. Is that a thing? That's what they're saying. Mm-hmm. People are saying that. I don't buy it. I don't believe it. Who's people? Um, there's a dad. What do you mean? There's you a dad people? at my son's football game who brought it to my, oh my attention. Okay, okay. And then we looked it up, and sure enough, there's publications talking about it. But are, How, they, are they guessing? They're saying one of the rumors out there is that the Cowboys are looking to acquire Derrick Henry. Because Jerry talked about it on a radio show. Really? He said he likes his roster, but he's always willing to add to it if needed. Hey, but was that about Derrick Henry specifically? Trade deadline. To adding to the roster. Adding. Got it. And I think they just put, because I know, I think it's out there that the that the Titans are willing to get rid of yeah, him. Yeah, they're selling, because they traded uh, Bayard. Yeah, they're starting he's Levis. Got, he's got uh, some years left on that contract. Doesn't he have three years left? If you look it up, like, and, and they're paying him a lot. He just re-signed a new deal. Oh, like like in the offseason, I think. <laughs> Wasn't it this offseason? maybe off the one before, but yeah, yeah. Then he just recently, recently. re-signed a, a, a deal. And so... You want a 30-year-old back who's probably not going to give you... But I guess if he goes to Dallas, he's also going to be fire and lightning or thunder and fire or lightning, whatever, what with Pollard. The, well, yeah. And when the thing is, you know, like our weakness right now is the goal line, is the red zone. So, well, I mean, right. that could be huge for the Cowboys. What do you see over there, Kevin? It looks like he signed for two more years, out, so through 25, but it looks like a lot of voidable money. I love voidable money. <laughs> Unless it's for me. There's a lot of red on that. <laughs> yeah. Unless it's for yeah. me. Eddie, would you like that as a Cowboys yeah, fan? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Especially this season. I'd like it like stat. As a Pollard fantasy owner, I would not like that. Mm. But as someone with a Cowboys future, I'm not betting this weekend. I have to take a break. <laughs> but someone with a Cowboys future, I like it. I think it would be cool. I don't think the Cowboys would want to take on that money, though. I don't think they would mess with Pollard. I mean, he still has a role in that team, but Derek Henry. I want him to be featured back. Uh, what do you think? What's what's Pollard doing now, and like this year so far on your fantasy team? Good. Is he all right? I don't know. Pretty good. Okay. I'm in our league. I am a hundred points more than the second highest point scorer, and I'm three and four. Yeesh. But what is it? Was that for tiebreaker, or how does that help your team? Well, hopefully, I'll make the top five spots, and yeah. the sixth spot is always the person that has the most points. It's not in the top five. So it keeps somebody who crushes and has bad luck from being in the playoffs. Yep, that would be you. But <laughs> with a bad record, I got a hundred points more than the second best person in the league, That's and I'm crazy, three and man. four. It's like I crushed this last week too. I had a pretty good game. What are you gonna say over there? No, nothing. I was just looking at the money. He still owed like six million dollars this year. So whoever does trade for him still owes him all that. Plus the well, next two years. Plus the next two years. Ah, eh, six mil. That's nothing. Man. That's the ele- like, We're good. Eleventh highest out of all running backs. Who's the highest, McCaffrey? McCaffrey. I guess it's who should be the highest, McCaffrey, but then who is the highest? Like, Jonathan they, Taylor's know. the most recent sign, so maybe him. Yeah, maybe. All right, thank you. That's it. That's the Tittle Tattle. The stupidest name ever is the Tittle Tattle with kickoff. 25 Whistles, presented by DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Download the DraftKings app and use the code Bobby Sports to get in on the action. We're going to build the parlay, boys. Now, Eddie, the last two weeks, you've been the one to let us down. Correct. I got a good one. <laughs> ask ask I've, him his I've, approach. I've got a good one. No, Which, I, wait, don't tell I me the game. Tell me the, tell me the Tell me the approach. Yeah. I told you the approach. I'm going to pick a game that nobody could watch, that you're going to have to follow it on like your app just to see the little <laughs> football go down the field and go back and forth because it's going to be such a small school. <laughs> okay, but how do you know enough about them to bet it? Because one, the, one of the teams, their starting quarterback went down last week, so that's a huge hit to their team, and so I'm going to the other team. So you're going to a game we can't watch, <laughs> with a school we don't know any players from, Uh huh. and what is your game? Huge rivalry going down in Ohio. It's Ohio versus Miami of Ohio. I don't know what that rivalry is called, but I'm taking Miami minus seven. Not Miami, nope. Ohio minus seven. Oh my seven. God. <laughs> it's, it doesn't it's, even know. it's the Bobcats, I think. Okay, so you're taking Ohio Correct. minus seven versus Miami of Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of Ohio, so but yes. What you wish there was was th- like a three-way game with Miami. <laughs> Miami. Then you have Ohio versus Miami of Ohio versus Miami. <laughs> and throw, why, why not throw an Ohio State in there too? Oh, boy. <laughs> to clarify, so, he's going Ohio, right? I'm going yes. Ohio. Okay. Ohio minus seven. Okay. Not Ohio State. Nope. Ohio. Kevin. I'm going for a bounce back game this week. USC lost a couple in a row here. They bounce back against Cal on the road, minus 11. We have nothing to worry about. We've been getting them right. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. you guys are yeah. good? Yeah, we're good. No stress? Eddie's reaching here. I got Georgia minus 15 and a half at Florida. That's it. That's the tweet. 
Okay, I like it. I looked at that one, too, but I was like, that's too easy. You can watch that one on TV. Why would you bet it? <laughs> that's true. <laughs> if you want to take the 25 Whistles Parlay, check out DraftKings Sportsbook. New users use the code Bobby Sports when you download the app. 21 and up in most eligible states, but age varies by jurisdiction. Eligibility and deposit restrictions apply. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY 467-369. We haven't hit a parlay in a long time. I mean, it's a long, a long time. Yeah, yeah, I haven't. To. You haven't. We haven't. It's just been a... It's been a show, you know what I mean? We're about to. And we're, it's a team effort, man. We all have been struggling. Well, I'm telling you, if we're as strong as our weakest link. Why are you looking at me? You're saying I'm the weakest? I got it. I got last you. two weeks. I got you. You know, I was looking at this about the 2013 NFL draft, which I think is interesting. As they call the worst draft class in the history of the NFL draft. Can I read you the top 10? Yes. The number one overall pick. Phoenix. 2013, 10 years ago. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking 20. Okay, got it. No, 10 years ago today. Wow. The number one overall pick was from the Chiefs. They picked left tackle Eric Fisher from Central Michigan. Anything? N- no. Okay, Central cool. Michigan, I mean. Number no. two, Luke Jockel from Texas A&M, Jaguars. Mm-mm. Number three, the Dolphins, outside linebacker, Deion Jordan, uh, Jordan from Oregon. Yeah. You remember him? I remember all that. yeah. The Eagles, and here's the one pick in the first round that I'm like, nailed it. Lane Johnson from Oklahoma. Yeah. Who gave up his first sack this last week, I think, in like a million snaps or something. Yeah. At five, Ezekiel Ansa from BYU at six. Barcavius Mingo, defensive end LSU at seven. Oh, Jonathan Cooper at eight. Tavon Austin to the Rams. Nine, D. Milliner, Alabama. Ten, Chance War. Nobody, there's only one player in the league right now. That's crazy. Of the top ten. And none of those guys ended up being stars, really, except for Lane Johnson, who's still a star. Yeah. I remember Luke Jockel a bit. Mingo, I remember that dude. Do you remember his name? I like remember the name Mingo, Mingo now. What about Tavon Austin? Yeah, Tavon Austin, Cowboys receiver. receiver. I yeah. do remember him a little bit. But what a... What a but he, I mean, he still didn't have a good career. Disaster of a draft. That's the first 10 picks in the draft that year. Uh, I'm looking at the rest of the draft here. Some of these guys, like Justin Pugh, but he came back on the couch. Remember the Giants oh, yeah, game? yeah, yeah. You're They're right. like, where are you from? He's like, on the couch. Oh, it's, that's him? That's him. Yeah. Justin Pugh, off the couch. Off the couch. EJ Manuel was this year at number 16 Ugh. to the Bills from Florida State. Yeah, that's tough. EJ Manuel. Oh, I did that one. I just said it like five seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, dude. The one right it above it. You, the one right above it. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny Vaccaro. Didn't Ray love Kenny Vaccaro? No, that, that was Cruz. Oh, is that what it was? Kenny Vaccaro, man. Kenny Vaccaro, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Great. So that's, that's all the first round. Now listen to this. Other picks, because the first, uh, first round sucked. First top 10, top 10 pick sucked. Third round by the Chiefs this year from Cincinnati, Travis Kelsey. Yeah. Third round by the Cardinals, Honey Badger from LSU. Keenan Allen, third round. Uh, Bakhtiari, the lineman for Green Bay, who's out already mm-hmm. this year because they get a knee problem. But really, just awesome lineman. Fourth round. Uh, the Fullback for the 49ers, uh, Yushik. Yes, 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 with a J in there. Mm-hmm. And then Jordan Poyer, seventh round by the Eagles from Oregon State. Wow. But what a t- I just saw that as a little graph on Twitter and thought, I cannot believe that those top 10 picks, everybody yeah. sucks that bad. So that's what's up. I do have, this is a little bit embarrassing. Uh-oh. I pulled the records. It's not us. It's not us or me who did it. And we'll get to the games in a second. But I pulled the records of all the schools we've covered doing too much access so far. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, mm. no, don't do oh, it. Should we even say this? I kind of want to label ourselves as this. Well, we didn't do anything. Well, I mean, the Carolina Panthers are really holding us back. Yeah. Yeah, that one hurts. And I think we started off with them, too, right? They're 0-6. But we knew they weren't going to be great. Rookie quarterback. They didn't have weapons at wide receiver. New coach. We've actually invested in these teams that aren't good this year, but it'll be really good next year. Right, right. right. That's, That's what, what we're is. doing. Futures. Who do you think our most winning team is that we've covered? Kansas State. No. Oh, boy. Kansas State's good, though. Five and two. It's not Vandy. It's not Vandy. Vandy's two and six. Oh, not South Carolina. South Carolina's three and four. No, South Carolina's two and five. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. It's not South Carolina. Um, uh, it's not Western Kentucky. Four and four. UNLV. Oh, UNLV, man. Six and one. Yeah, baby. Absolutely. Six and freaking one. I mean, they were undefeated when we got to them, so. 
right? They had already no, won. They no, they Michigan. lost one. Yeah, they lost that game oh, in Michigan. Oh, God, yeah. Because the sign stealing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> sign stealing. <laughs> was, the guy, what it won. was the guy there? <laughs> yeah, probably uh, on both sides. Dude, great question. Get a Rebels yes. shirt on. Uh, so that's what's up. We're trying to bounce back. Our combined record is 26 and 39. If you count Cincinnati, which they're not having the best year, two and five so far, but let's take, let's say we don't count Cincinnati. So we'll be 24 and 34. And let's say we don't count the Panthers. <laughs> <laughs> let's say we don't count Arkansas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Arkansas, yeah. Uh, I mean, we're going to get to all the games in a second, but I'm, I got, I've been watching a little bit of the, um, you know, LCS, ALCS, and LCS. Baseball? Yeah, baseball sucks. Yeah, man, for sure. And I was the biggest baseball fan my whole life. I still love baseball. But baseball sucks on TV compared to, even with the pitch clock, it's a little better at least. And also, the two teams are in the World Series. Mike, I know you posted about the Rangers. I've been watching every game. I think it's awesome. You do? I've been loving it. I would have liked to have seen the Phillies go because they're just they're dynamic to me. They hit home runs. They they play aggressive baseball. Well, I can name players on the Phillies. I know. It's, I can't name you one Diamondback. The Diamondbacks and the freaking Rangers. I can't name you a Ranger. But the cool thing is two years ago, both teams lost over 100 games, which shows you that if you invest and you draft properly and you make the right moves in the front office, that you can turn a team around. But, like, I... I I'm just not excited about the World Series at all. I yeah. may not watch a game. And I, I love baseball, but I hate baseball. Are you are you happy the Astros didn't make it? No, nope, because I want a villain. Yeah. I just want a story. I just want something to root for, against. So, no, I want them to make it, and then I want the Phillies to beat the crap out of them. Interesting. I just want to feel and care. I don't care about the, the Rangers or the Diamondbacks either way. Not even for Mike? I hope for Mike's sake they okay, win. Okay, we can do that. Yeah, yeah. We can root for for the Rangers for Mike. But yeah, I was watching the game last night, and my wife goes like, "Thank God you only watch baseball in October. <laughs> like I can't do this." <laughs> yeah, it's tough. I uh, I saw the streak about McCaffrey. So if you were to have put a thousand bucks on McCaffrey to score an anytime touchdown during Week 13 last year, oh, it's a minus bet. Oh, last year? Yeah, last year. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So if you put a thousand bucks on him Week 13 last year, then once that pays off, you just let it ride. If you have done that for the last 16 weeks, you make $4.2 million. Yeah. <laughs> Who's going to do that? 16 straight games with a touchdown. Yeah, I bet on him the last week, you know, and, like, that was a minus bet. He's we so sure to score a touchdown <laughs> that you got to But he was coming off an injury, or he's coming off being hurt. So Yeah. I mean, Debo's still out. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've lost twice in a row. But, yeah. And they play the Bengals. Both, both those teams could use a win. I know. How do you feel about the Cowboys maybe getting that one seed? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? In the NFC. The they have a shot at it? I, I mean, no. I mean, I think the Eagles are too good. Okay. So you, you do think the Eagles are good? Yeah, I, th I don't think we're up to Eagle speed. Because no. San Francisco and the Eagles are kind of the two teams up in that top. And mm -hmm. if San Francisco's starting to trickle a little bit and the Eagles lose a game or two, because the Cowboys get to play them again, don't they? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Around the holidays, I believe. Because the Cowboys the have only lost yes. two games, right, Eddie? The Cowboys have only lost two. Right. Have you played the yes. Eagles yet? Uh, yes. And the Eagles have only lost that one. Was, that was one of our losses. No, because you lost to the Cardinals and the oh, Niners. Oh, actually, we have not played the Eagles. Yeah. yeah. We've lost to the Niners. We've lost to the Cardinals. Even better, so, you can play them twice still. So yeah. this could happen. Yeah. I didn't even think about that, Next honestly. Next week we play them. Wow. That's going to be huge. You can still get that one seed. That's going to be huge. And the Eagles have been looking human, man. Yeah, that he gets in trouble saying that crap, though. Yep. You but, just, you know, I mean, even the Niners looking human. Brock Purdy looking human. Well, like, that's because people are hurt. Yeah, but hey, but the Cowboys, we've been hurt, too. Like, we were hurt week two. No, I'm not saying you shouldn't be hurt, but I'm saying the Eagles really don't have a lot of injuries on their offense, do they? I mean, Jalen Hurts went was hurt a little bit, had a knee brace, but they're like, he's fine. I think everybody's that kind of hurt. All their weapons, Yeah, they're there. They got Julio now. Oh, yeah. Whatever Julio. that means. Julio Jones, one catch last week. Uncle Julio, basically now. <laughs> yeah. He is Uncle Julio. He's crazy. Uh, so who are the pretenders? Who are the contenders? We're more than halfway through the NFL season, but DraftKings Sportsbook is still pumping out unbeatable offers every single game. New customers can bet just $5 on anything to get $200 instantly in bonus bets. Get in on the action with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Download the app now. Use the code Bobby Sports. New customers can bet just $5 on anything to get $200 instantly in bonus bets 
only on DraftKings Sportsbook with the code Bobby Sports. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY-467-369. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly on behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort, Kansas. Licensee partner, Golden Nugget, Lake Charles, Louisiana, 21 and up. Age varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. See sportsbook.draftkings.com slash football terms for eligibility and deposit restrictions, terms, and responsible gaming resources. All right, let's talk about college football games, which, by the way, I want to say this. I stayed up last night, and I uh, two nights ago, I guess. This airs on Friday, right? <sighs> Um, I watched the Sam Houston State game. They're 0-7. They never won a game in FBS, and I thought that would be pretty cool to watch their win. And so I bet. I, I wasn't going to bet. And you hear me later say I'm not betting, but I did make a bet because it's Eddie's school. You know they've been saying that since the start of the season. What? Looking for their first FBS I know, win. but I thought they were going to win this one. They were up like 21 points. <laughs> they haven't won one. Yeah, I bet 1000 bucks on it and lost. How did they Oh, blo- my. They blo- Dude, they blew it. They blew it. I, I, I was so happy with it. it I, was, I told Eddie, it's like, I'm about to look. This is awesome. And they blew it. Dude. I'm cursed. I blame that loss on me. They were going to win that game until I made that bet. I felt so good about it. They were going to beat UTEP. They had more talent. They had a quarterback. And then as soon as I put that bet, it all went to... Sh- <laughs> Dude, did you, uh, did you place that bet like in the middle of the game no, or before the game? Pre. Wow, that's crazy. Damn. I felt great about it. And at halftime, I felt great. They were up 21 points. And they blew it. I'm the reason. I'm sorry. I like to apologize to everybody at Sam Houston State. We forgive you, man. I am the reason they lost. Honestly, I don't think that's true at all. I they, do, and they, I lost. They, it. They're not looking. Dude, they've they've they blown. They, they've blown a lot of leads this season. I've watched probably five of their games, and they've looked every single time in the fourth quarter like they're going to win it, and they lose it by either a field goal or a touchdown. I wouldn't have even cared about it unless it was Eddie's school. Wait. But then once I, but well, not not the bet, Eddie's school. I wouldn't have even cared that there was a game. Okay. But I found it. Okay. And then I was like, oh, this is Eddie's school. And then I'm like, well, I'm really in the hole. So <laughs> you're chasing, man. Dang, you're dude. chasing. I was thinking about going double chase. Oh, no. <sighs> for the weekend. Did you guys see that Halloween costume that got kicked out at the game? No. Sam Houston? <laughs> no. What was <laughs> he was it? Jeff Justin. <laughs> Did you watch the game too? <laughs> no, I, I didn't even know what was going on. I just saw it on Twitter today. <laughs> He was in an inflatable penis. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the game. That's funny. <laughs> and they hey, kicked man. him out. It's not funny, but it's hilarious. Yeah, like, funny. Anywhere there are kids, you can't do that. <laughs> yeah. But that's what we do. It is Sam Houston. Oh, but it was funny. funny. Okay. Weekend preview. Georgia minus 15 and a half at Florida. Ohio State minus 14 and a half at Wisconsin. I'm looking for my double chase. I'm going to double chase. I lied. And you hear me later on say I'm not betting. Yeah. We recorded that a little bit ago. I'm double chasing. I don't <laughs> yeah, care. I was gonna I'm going to double chase. I'm going to double chase on the air. I want everybody to know my pain as it's happening. Okay, man. Godspeed. Yeah, Florida State minus 20 and a half at Wake Forest. I'm just trying. I know I did the, pro, the, the parlay, but I'm trying to figure out the one that I really, really, really feel good about. Dude, I will tell you, though, looking at the lines, I'm, I'm like, I don't know anything anymore. I feel like I'm the dumbest I've lost like fan. seven in a row. I can't hit anything. <laughs> Crazy, dude. Okay, I'm going to go Oklahoma minus 10 at Kansas. BYU at Texas, and Texas is a 17-point favorite. Let's roll these and just pick a winner. No spread. Okay. Good. Okay. Straight up. Then, Are you parlaying these or individuals? All individuals. Nice. Smart. Because when you're chasing, you usually parlay. No, I'm it. chasing and I'm doing one bet and that's it. Okay. Put on my authentication code so they know it's me double chasing. <laughs> oh, they know. There he is. Chasing. It's chasing alert. Chasing <laughs> alert. <laughs> they ring, 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 hey. ring, ring, ring. <laughs> Jonathan. We got a chaser over He's here. He's back. <laughs> oh, let me guess. It's Bobby. Yeah. Yeah. It's Bobby again. Okay. Uh, Georgia at Florida. Georgia. 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 Did they cover? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Money line. We're talking money line. I know. I <laughs> picked, get crazy. I picked them in the guarantee. Yeah. Bones chill, dude. Ohio State minus 14 and a half at Wisconsin. <laughs> um, I said that. But just Ohio State at Wisconsin. Bo- yeah. Buckeyes. Buckeyes. Okay. Yeah. Florida State at Wake Forest. Florida yep. State. Yep. I think that one could be a little closer than what's, what they're thinking. What's 20, that line? 20 then? and a half. Oh, see, you're, you're liking that line. Washington at Stanford. Washington. Washington. It's a big one. Oklahoma at Kansas could be interesting. Kansas always gives Oklahoma problems. Yeah, it depends if that quarterback is 100% for Kansas. It plays. BYU at Texas. Texas should run that, right? But it, they're playing with a backup quarterback, but it's still, it's still Texas. And they're mm-hmm. in Texas? Yeah. Yeah. Oregon at Utah. Now we got a game. 
is Utah gritty and grindy, and do they do it again? Oregon's so good. I know. But Utah's that team that's always in it. I know. And Oregon's, Oregon's a six-and-a-half-point favorite. The thing about Oregon is I also think they could beat them by 30, but I also think they could lose. I know. I would stay away from that one if I were bet. I'm not betting that one. Yes. They're in Utah? But who's yes. going to win that one? Oregon at Utah. Yeah, they're at, at, Utah. at Utah. I go Utes on that one then. Let's go Ducks. Yeah, I think Utah wins that. Indiana at Penn State. Penn State probably runs. Penn State, yes. yes. Oregon State at Arizona. Hey, that's pretty cool. Arizona's been, they suck, but they've been like challenging folks. Mm-hmm. Let's go Beavers. Arizona's like the freaking Arizona Cardinals in the NFL. Like losing, but hey, <laughs> they fight for a minute. Yeah, not lack of effort. Vanderbilt at Ole Miss. Mm. Ole Miss. I, I did bet Vanderbilt over under three wins. I don't think they're going to hit it. They look good at the beginning, too. I know. Uh, Pitt at Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Duke at Louisville. Oh, man. I, I can't sleep on Duke. I, but I don't think Riley Leonard is playing. I don't know that he's playing either. Yeah. If right he doesn't now. play, then obviously Louisville. I think that's why Louisville is a four point favorite and they're home. But I'll go. Yeah, I'll go Louisville. Same. Man, they burned me a couple weeks ago. Tennessee, Kentucky. I think that'd be a pretty good game. Mm hmm. Tennessee's only a four point favorite. I like the Vols there. Same. Do you think Tennessee, though, because don't they have Alabama coming up next week? Tennessee? That's who they played last week. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, they have Georgia and in a Maybe I'm weeks. thinking they got beat up by Alabama and they're probably all like bruised. <laughs> <laughs> bruised. I knew there was some sort of Alabama thing in my head. Yeah. They're probably they're limping still, in like, hurt Alabama a got me. Um, uh, USC and Cal. I mean, did, I don't know. Do the wheels come off at USC now or what? That's, yeah, that question. I don't know how they're going to come out this week. Are they going to be mad that they lost again, or are they going to be like, you know what, I'm over it this year? There's been talk of sitting Caleb Williams. Yeah. But he would have to sit himself because they're not going to play in a big bowl game. You're the number one pick. It is, that's just what the new class does. If there's nothing to gain, they kind of sit so they don't lose. If he comes out, that is, right? He's coming out. I know. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Caleb Williams. His dad said he may not come out if he didn't like the team drafting him. Oh, I got you. And he also wants ownership of the team. <laughs> yes. Which will, would never happen. If they're not letting Aaron Rodgers do that. No. Okay. Well, you guys will be happy to know that I can't get on the internet for some reason. Well, that's not good. That's, I'm not happy for that. I think, I think that's a sign. I have a, I have a, I have a workaround. <laughs> what? Cell data? Come on, baby. 5G plus? Come on, Boy, baby. he's yeah, dude, Got he, it. He, he's whispering to his phone. I know. Uh, Got he's it. He's talking to I'm it. I'm double chasing, baby. <laughs> okay. Not good. What's not? Just the way you're doing everything. I'm double chasing. You're telling your phone, come on, baby. I'm Please. A, I'm I need this. He's like stroking it. I'm, come on. I'm double chasing. I think I'm going to go for the double chase. I'm going to bet 2500 bucks. Oh, no. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, what are you doing? Why don't you just give me the two, the 2500 bucks? <laughs> Mike, what do you think? Dude, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah. To double chase? I'm, I think I'm a double chase. Oh, my gosh. Eee. I think I'm a double chase. I really am feeling that Georgia minus 14 and a half at Florida. That that half gets me, though, man. It might have. I'm looking at it now. It hasn't moved. It's still at 15? Okay, because. It's a 14 and a half. 14 and a half, though, you said. Okay. Yeah. That swamp is tough to play at. Yeah, but not if the swamp's dried up. <laughs> Screw it. Oh, man. I'm going. Ooh, the Oklahoma's minus nine, oh, but boy, Kansas oh, gives them oh, problems. Oh, boy, oh, boy. What? Just all of this, man, is making me nervous. Okay, I'm going to go, because I made it in the parlay. 2500 bucks. Georgia minus 14 and a half. Done. Good luck, man. Go dogs. Let's go. I love a good chase. I love a car chase. Hmm? Like watching I a, it. I love a foot chase. Like watching it, not doing it. Let's go. Hundred bucks. And if I win, I'm gonna just put it back in my bank account. I'm not betting it. Uh huh. I might like, triple chase. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> uh, NFL games: Patriots and Dolphins. Who's the winner? Dolphins. Dolphins. What are we doing? Dolphins. Rams at Cowboys. Cowboys. The off, boys. Off a bye. We're rested, man. Or are you we're sluggish? We're not bruised. 
Vikings at Packers. Vikings. Vikings. They're on a roll. If if Cousins can do what he did yeah, Cousins with no right, weapons, right. I mean, I think he's on a roll. And Addison's not hurt, right? He's left the game, but he came back in the game. Yeah. I mean, yeah. he's their weapon right now as Jefferson's out. Yeah, Addison's tough. Falcons at Titans. I like Falcons, Falcons. man. I'm going to go Titans. Just at Homer. That's it. Even Will, Le- Will Levis? Levis is starting. And they say both quarterbacks will play probably, but Levis is starting. But it's like, who do you want, Levis or Ritter? <laughs> So, I know. Ritter shows you he sucked. Levis hadn't showed us he sucked yet. I feel bad for Ritter when I watch him. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Same. But I'm going to go with the Titans in that one. Saints and Colts? Saints. Saints I mean, need to win. I mean, I don't know. The car, car to me is like what you're talking about with, um, what's his name? Uh, Ritter? Herbert. Herbert. Oh, yeah. It's like, I know, we want to love Carr. We want to, like, stick with him. But I haven't seen anything with Carr. Jets at Giants. Boy, the Jets could rattle off another win. Mm-hmm. But the Giants are coming off a win. Maybe, but is, maybe they're getting it together. But is Tyrod going to win another game? Is, is Daniel Jones playing this game? I don't think he is. Uh, actually, in fantasy, he's projected to play. Last time I looked. Fan, uh, with but a, I don't know. With a D or a Q. Yeah, that's different. Let's see. Questionable, doubtful. Let's see. I'm still going Jets. Yeah, same. Because that defense, no matter who's at quarterback, is going to tear him up. Jaguars at Steelers. Yep. I like to see the Jaguars win. Jaguars. Jags. Jags, if they can keep winning these games. Man, they're dangerous. Questionable. He's Yeah. Questionable. Uh, Eagles at Commanders. Eagles. Eagles. Texans at Panthers. I like Texans. I'm going to go with, I think the Panthers finally pulled Let's this one out. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. And Texans are a three-point favorite, but I think the Panthers finally pulled this one out. You have to win one. Yeah. Right? And why not against the <laughs> I mean, rookie? <laughs> should I double chase that game? Yeah. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Double I didn't say, chase. I didn't know. Browns at Seahawks. Ah, that's a toss. Uh, Seahawks. I'm gonna go Seahawks yeah. too. Still a little uh, no quarterback situation with the Browns, or they have a quarterback, but they don't really have a quarterback. But maybe that's better than having a bad quarterback, which has kind of been how they've won games. Mm-hmm. When Deshaun Watson plays, it's kind of been bad, and they've lost games. But whenever it's anybody else, they play fine. But the defense is awesome. You talk about great defensive teams. The Browns are really good defensively. Miles Garrett is a monster. Oh, yeah, and is, if man. he played somewhere else, he'd be such a householder name. They'd be a superstar. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Chiefs at Broncos. Chiefs. The Chiefs are only a seven point favorite, which is triple tells chase. you something. <laughs> if I lose, no. If I lose, I'm after triple chase. With the hey, team. whenever that line is, whenever you say, like, man, that line's low, eesh, it's low for a reason. There's something. I'm not thinking straight, though. <laughs> I know you're not. <laughs> He's chasing. Ravens. At Cardinals. Ravens should run that, right? Yes. What, what's the line? Minus eight and a half. I'm just saying they should win that. They should win that. The Ravens can be anybody, but they can also, but they can also lose anybody. anybody. Bengals are 49ers. 49ers have Sam Darnold starting at quarterback. But I think Sam Darnold is actually pretty good. Yeah. I think he's the best backup quarterback in the NFL. He's probably better than some of the starting quarterbacks. Debo still out? As of now, yeah. I'm going to go Bengals on that one. Bengals need to win. 49ers need to win. Both those teams <sighs> need to win. That's what makes it so fun. Bears at Chargers. Chargers are eight and a half point favorite. I'm still taking the Bears. Bears. I'm with you on that. The Bears. Even eight and a half. Yeah, I take the Bears. The with Bears. Pa- pageant. I'm, I'm, that's not even him. Pageant. pageant. I, I just think the Bears are. Yeah, now they suck. But Wait, so wh- the Chargers. <laughs> what were you thinking? Well, it's like the, I want the Bears to win. Yeah. They have weapons. I like the fact that it's a Division II quarterback. Pageant, pageant whatever his name is. Yeah. That play. He got tattoos all over his arm. Mm-hmm. Set a Division II record. I like that. I don't know. I'm rooting for him. So you maybe, know his dad was a 26-time arm wrestling champion? And, like, I don't know the exact numbers, but two-thirds of that was right-handed, and the other third was left-handed. No he way. He won national championships on both wow. arms. What a freak. What a boss. Raiders and Lions. They're in Detroit. Lions. Lions. Detroit. Lions. Yeah. All right. Well, there's our... I got to get this. I got to... I just must hit this Georgia game. I must hit this Georgia game. I must hit this Georgia game. Here he is. I must have this Georgia. He's back into his phone. Must have this Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> That's like when I go to Vegas, I'm like, the ball's rolling on the roof. I never wheel. feel like this. Oh, I don't dude. need it for the money part of it. I'm fine with money. No, you need it for your yeah. self esteem. Yes. Your Morale. Confidence. Yes. Yeah. I must have this Georgia. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Have we done our promises? No, no we have not. Okay, let's do an NFL promise. That way we don't double up our parlay bets. That's what we should do. I know. It, 
If you didn't have that, I'm kind of screwing you over. No. If you um. miss, lose 10 bucks. Take a second. NFL game. I'll go first. I'm going to go Chiefs minus seven no. at the Broncos. Reed, you can do that. Too. Do the same. You can do then that go, too. buddy. Let's oh, go. Get on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Get in the old Jeez, red man. wagon. Let's go, baby. I'm pulling this to victory. Okay. And if I'll probably will triple chase, by the way, if I lose this other game <laughs> on that game. Eddie? Minnesota minus one against Green Bay. I think that's that's the promise of the week right there. Dang. You can take that. We're one? all teaming up, guys. Yeah. yeah let's go. Let's do it's it. Because it was that even yesterday. Is that minus one it's right minus now? Minus one right Dang. now. Okay. I'll still take it. All right. I'm doing the same. Good deal. What do you say? Intro music. Before we go, let's talk about Kirk Cousins for a second. He's going to be a free agent. We talk about how good he's been. He's going to be a free agent. He's not going to get traded. Didn't waive the no trade clause. He's second in the NFL in passing yards right now. First in the NFL in passing touchdowns. Only has five interceptions. Almost 70% completion percentage. They're three and four, but their next three games are Packers, Falcons, and Saints. It's that they can win. They probably will win two of those three. Don't know which two. They could win all three. But he's again. He's thirty six. He's still going to demand a ton of money, and he's going to get it after this year as long as he doesn't get hurt. There's probably half the teams that would give a left nut to have Cousins as their quarterback. Sure. Mm-hmm. He's changed the perception of himself this year, even, even the last game. Would you want Kirk Cousins as the quarterback of your team, Kevin? Yes. Eddie. Yeah. And also, would you like him over Dak? Yeah. Me too. Dang. Also, him him being on yep. quarterback helped as well because we like like him, like him too. It's he's easier. a very likable person now that we got to know and him a little bit. his teammates like him. Yeah. Yeah, because they, they always putting crap on him, like necklaces and stuff. <laughs> yeah. After the last game, they can't put the number 10 on him or whatever that was. Yeah, Justin yeah. Jefferson did. Oh, is that who that was? Yeah. I had it on mute because I was pissed they, that they won. That's <laughs> cool. yeah. yeah. And I was like, stupid. <laughs> Made me have to chase. Double chase. <laughs> Georgia. <laughs> Uh, now the Michigan st- scandal becomes a little more open where it, it was, this is more than that dude, but this dude was running it. He also had like a manifesto, like a 60 page manifesto about how he was going to really take that mi- Michigan program and lead it to the promised land. What on earth? Really? Manifestos are weird. I always think of the Unabomber. Yeah. Someone that's about to die. According to the Washington Post, a third party investigative firm submitted evidence, including documents and videos to the NCAA. And in those documents were detailed travel budgets for the science dealing operation. The firm did not present evidence directly linking head coach Jim Harbaugh. He denied any knowledge. It's unknown who hired the investigative firm, but the investigation has began. And they even had SEC games that were going before the... I mean, guys, this is awesome. And I'm not saying they're the only team doing it. But at this level, maybe. But this guy was hardcore. But do you believe that he was involved or no? Who? Th- this guy was involved with... Stallions? Stallion? Absolutely. Stallion involved with the program. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's on the sidelines and yeah, pictures was, with trophies and everything. And he was paying people on an open Venmo, like for the Georgia game. He so, sent him open Venmo. So now, do you think like Harbaugh had nothing to do with it and it's no, him trying to I'm lead a team? To, no, Harbaugh will, will sacrifice his mom for oh. a championship. Well, that's crazy. What about his brother? Probably easier. Two brothers. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to be the next coach of the Ravens. You got to go. Uh, I think Harbaugh ends up going to the Bears. That's his team. I, I think Harbaugh absolutely knew. Because then you'd be like, why is this $60,000 a year dude standing with a defensive coordinator on the sideline and then the offensive coordinator? Like, why does he have such... A- Guys, you're not going to tell me he doesn't know what's up. I'm just saying. What are you what saying? Are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> what are it you said say- that he had his own team of yes. coaches. And you don't think the head coach knew about it? He knows everything, everything. going on in that program. And also, I'd be like, why is this dude standing beside our defensive coordinator all- during the game? Exactly. Advanced scouting, using technology. It's, this guy sounds like some type of like power. That's who I'd want. Guy, I know. Oh, I like, kind of guy. I want on my squad, yeah. baby. I want this guy. I'm not getting <laughs> caught though. I mean, it is a thing for people to be so into. Like, I want to be part of my team winning. So yeah. I'm gonna do whatever I need to do to help him win. Yeah. And I want that kind of guy with me. <laughs> Just don't get caught. But they have to get in trouble. They have to get in a lot of trouble. But don't get caught. I would do it. But don't get caught. But once you get caught, then you got to pay the fine. Like, I speed sometimes. Not a lot, because I'm a pretty slow driver. But if I got to get somewhere, I speed. And you know what happens if I get caught? I got to pay the fine. That's right. But mm-hmm. would I speed again if I needed to get somewhere? If I, yes, absolutely. Yes, yes, I would. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. So it's time to, now it's time to pay the piper. <laughs> and if Michigan keeps winning, it's hilarious. They're the villain. 
I yeah. love it. That's I what makes love it even a better. story. I love a story. All right, that's it. You guys have a, a great weekend. I'm Chase. I'll be chasing all weekend. Double chasing. Good luck chasing. Thank dude. you very much. We'll see you guys Monday or Tuesday or whenever we come back. Eddie, blow it. I got you. <laughs> Woo.